this organisation, there is unanimity on a need for much greater powers over buses and um, acknowledgement that what happened in 1986 was not positive for the bus industry and certainly wasn't positive for the travelling public. Um, if there's no further kind of indications, I'm just going to sort of echo some of the comments that people made about the book. Oh, Harry, first and foremost.
obviously the response largely focuses on the elements of the Wales and Borders franchise that operates the Liverpool City region, primarily the Rex and Bidston line. It largely focuses on improvements to the quality of the infrastructure and by of the stations and rolling stock, improvements in service quality and improvements in reliability as well. The response has been pulled together in conjunction with Rex and Bidston Rail Users Association, the North Wales Economic Ambition Board and Cheshire Wales and Chester Authority as well, just to basically make sure that we were all common, they were all saying the same things and we were all basically highlighting the same points in relation to the Rex and Bidston line and the response is attached to this report in appendix noting. That's a really good point, Harry, and obviously this has been submitted because of the prize of submission day, but it is important that in um, future reports that we actually kind of reference those destination stations. So we talk about Lime Street, we talk about South Park, we talk about Runcorn, because it's really important that we highlight the fact that it's not just the end destination, it's actually the destinations on the route that are just as important as well. Any further questions or comments? If not, if I can um, move paragraph two of the report if that's agreed. agreed. And finally, um, we've got Mary's motion, so I've got some council to move the motion. Yeah, the motion line eight. Do you want to speak right now or? Yeah. Yeah? Would anyone like me to read the motion out or are you all happy with the copy of it? I can read it out for Yeah? On the 15th of April 1989, a disaster at Hillsborough Stadium in Sheffield led ultimately to the deaths of 96 innocent fans who had left their home that morning to watch a football match. Due to crowd control mismanagement, those fans, whose ages ranged from 10 to 67 years old, had the life crushed out of them. Contrary to the facts, the Sun, sorry guys for saying it, published a front page story with the banner headline, The Truth, which contained blatant lies. Here's just a couple of the lies. Drunken Liverpool fans viciously attacked workers as they tried to rescue victims. And police officers, firemen and ambulance crew were punched, kicked and urinated upon. This was printed in a British national newspaper. And for this reason, and a thousand more I could give you, we call on all retailers and vendors of newspapers on the Liverpool City Region Transport Network to stop selling the sun. We support the group called Total Eclipse of the Sun in their endeavours to rid the Liverpool City Region of this newspaper. That's the end of the motion. If I can add a little bit more to it, Jay, before I let other people join in, and I'm sure they will. You know, in Liverpool, if you think back to that disaster, everyone says, oh, you know, we all knew someone there, or we're connected in some way to somebody there. Yeah, I've got seven brothers. One of their friends is a guy called Peter. He had a brother and a sister, and his little brother didn't make it that day. It was Stephen Coppick. And what they suffered over the years because of the lies that were put in that newspaper was unbelievable. Stephen's mum and dad are dead now. They didn't see justice. You know, that never came to them. And I just think, you know, while colleagues will say that we need to do more than this, this is the start of something that means something to the families and the friends and the relatives in the Liverpool of the 96. And not only the 96, the others affected by it. So I'm begging you guys, support it today. Thank you.
grunge upon each other and upon the dead. You know, I think this is something we should never, ever forget and never, ever forgive. There's no forgiveness for these people. You've got this Mackenzie fella still peppering the same lines. You've got politicians like Boris Johnson, sorry for that, every now and again dropping a clanger saying the people are to blame. You know, we had our own politicians in the Labour Party that didn't do enough to, to reveal the truth. I think, you know, it's about time we stood together and said, no more to this heinous paper, no more on their side, and sending it on its way to where it should be on in the dustbin of, of life. Ask, do we have unanimous support for this matter? 